Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming back to Stumptown Axis. Um, appreciate everyone's watching and uh, subscribing. Hope you're finding the content useful. Uh, today, I'm gonna do some handle repair. I have uh, uh, two handles I was doing for a customer and found this little crack in the bottom of it. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sort of repair that. Um, I'm gonna see if the customer still wants it as is um, but it might be useful for you guys as you're finding your own stuff, cracks, or maybe vintage pieces that you want to repair that still want to be used. Um, and how I'm going to repair that. I'm going to use a, the, the dowel method. So I'm going to use a, I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to use this piece of oak. And I'm going to come through it essentially like that. Or I might even do that. Undecided at this point. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to walk you through how to do that because uh, I wanna save this handle. Um, I think it'll still be useful. It's a great grain, nice and straight. Got a little tiny kink here, but you know, there's still plenty of grains that are running all the way through. Um, but yeah, I don't think we need to scrap it. Yeah, I think it'll still have a long life ahead of it. So hopefully I'll be able to film it. Hopefully I'll stay in the wide format. So I'm not doing the, uh, the Instagram, uh, uh, type video. So hopefully I remember to film it correctly and I'll show you how to do it. All right. Stay tuned. All right. The tools I'm going to use uh, for this project. I'm going to start off once I find my spot and kind of the direction I'm going to go, I'm going to give it a little punch just to have something for this little pilot, uh, to drill in. Uh, I'm using a uh, quarter, quarter inch Oak, to go here so this is like a god i think this is like 330 seconds and then of course uh, my uh my quarter uh right there we're going to use wood glue um and then you're gonna need something to trim it with uh, i got my drill and that should cover just about everything um yeah and let's get going so i'm just gonna put my punch in here and this is just to give a good little groove to uh the smaller drill bit for my pilot hole uh, to have something to, to bite into um, to go from a start. All right, next I'm getting my drill. I'm going to do my pilot hole. I'm trying to focus on the angle where it's coming through um, to make that good pilot. Through. All right, here we go. Boom. Nice hole there. Uh, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't finish this handle as much as I have. I would uh, do it with a little bit more shaping left to do. So you have like a little bit extra meat. This still needs some slimming. So I'm not too bad off here. I'll have to fix this. Some of this cosmetic kind of stuff. Um, but catch it earlier. If you're going to do this, uh, catch it earlier. But, you know, this is a good example. Like if you do get a vintage handle, it has a small crack. And you still plan on using it that, uh, you know, you can still do it like this. So next, uh, we'll get our, our dowel prepped. All right. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Spread glue on dowel. And make sure you're getting in those little notches there. So I don't know if I covered that. Um, but I made a, a couple little notches just for some glue to kind of sit in, one that's in, in the inside. And uh, you don't have to run this thing on the drill. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to just to, because uh, it's fun and it's quick, but uh, you don't have to. So you can just obviously like kind of just tap it in as well. All right, we're going dial number two. This is dial number one. I probably should not have used my impact drill uh, to get that in there. So. Dial number two, we're gonna tap in. Why not? We're all learning. All right, give me a couple taps. Oh yeah. All right. All right, there we go. Got our dowel in now. Um, you want to make sure you wipe off as much uh, of the excess stuff, just less to, to clean up. Uh, but you can see, there's our crack and there's our dowel. It's going to prevent 
that from opening up anymore. Um, it's not open now, but uh, a good preventive measure and you can save a good handle. Uh, I'll come back, um, let this dry for a day. I'll come back and trim uh, and probably show you a finished product too, um, just to, so you can see kind of where this goes. And um, yeah, talk to you soon. Hey, and we're back. So we got this all nice and dry. Now we're just gonna trim it up and shape it down to kind of sand it out. And we'll see what we got. All right, wrapped up, just back from a quick hike and wanted to show you the final results. So even if you're coming across this way, you can't even start to see it. You don't see it until you see the different color wood. That's been buffed out so well, even if you're blindfolded, you would not feel that. So it's nice and secure. Uh, we've stabilized this crack now. Hopefully it's not gonna get any bigger. Um, should be good. I'll probably actually give it a couple whacks with a hammer, but this is a good fix. It's a good thing to have on backup. Uh, as you're fitting up, I've cracked um, palm swells before just by smacking them uh, as I'm fitting um, a head on there. And, you know, sometimes you just have a great piece of wood and you just don't want to, you don't want to trash it. Uh, I'm going to end up putting this up for sale. It's, it's for the customer. I'll ask the customer if they want it first, but uh, if they don't, I'm just going to, you know, sell it a little bit reduced price. Um, and I'll, you know, warranty it, you know, if it's damaged while they're fitting it on or something like that. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I hope that was useful. Uh, I'll give you another little tool to, to mend stuff, to fix stuff. You know, lumber's expensive. And as you're experimenting or learning how to do different things, uh, it can be trouble. Um, thanks for following. Uh, check out the Instagram, uh, stumptownaxes.com. Uh, I throw a new product on there from time to time if you want something. Um, Paul at StumptownAxes.com. Uh, if you want to talk about a uh, custom piece uh, for yourself uh, or if you want to send me something to work on. Uh, yeah, hope that helps and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.